Welcome back to the workshop once again. I've got another pretty cool West Coast pick lock uh, clamped up in the vise here for you. And uh, this time, I believe this might be the other half of one that I just picked, the uh, Xena lock. It looks just like it, except for this one has WCP stamped in the front. And this one's called the Nandy Bear by West Coast Picks. And we've actually got a mummied key here, so there's no taking that out to cheat. And he's got X's all over the key. <laughs> all right. So let's see what West Coast Picks put in here. I want to use top of the keyway tension. And I think I'm going to use my DeForest Diamond. This is actually the very first pick that I put a wood handle on. So they're holding up pretty good. So let's go ahead and go with a medium to light tension to see what we can feel right away. Nothing on one. Didn't like the way that felt. Uh, you know what, I am going to stick with this one. Okay, got past that pin. I just set something in the back. Okay, I don't really have a ton of feeling of, as to what I'm actually doing in this lock. Uh, this pick is robbing me of that a little bit, so I uh, might set that one down and go for something else to start with. Um, let's go with, uh, you know what, let's go with this uh, really pretty pick that the uh, handle I made from uh, Wood West Coast Picks sent me. Okay, there's something there. There's a counter. A little click. Yeah, I got a lot more feeling now. Counter rotation on one. Okay. There's pin two. Nothing. Oh, there we go. I just pushed up on three. It must be a T pin. Got, got it on pin three. And this pick right here, hardly that uh, stabilized maple burl you sent me, that is some good looking stuff for pick handles. It just came out fantastic. And I've been <laughs> really reluctant to use it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put that up. Go ahead and move my tension wrench out of the way. Let's go ahead and use that uh, pin and tray that uh, West Coast Picks made for me. 3D printed pin and tray. That's the first time anybody's ever sent me anything 3D printed. Um, let's go ahead and use my hook clip remover. There we go. I'm pretty sure this one's got some T-pins in it, so I'm going to go ahead and shim it. And the shim is acting like there's T-pins in it. It's getting hung up at a certain point and isn't wanting to go past. Turn the shim around, see if sometimes that'll help. <laughs> okay. Just getting the camera out of the way just a little bit so I can look around it.
Come on, Chin. You know you want to. It is definitely just getting hung up on the T-pin somewhere. Let's try a different shim. Nope, tapping it isn't wanting to get it past it. Ah, finally slid it around it. There we go. Every once in a while you gotta fight those T-pins to get a shim in. Not too often. Alright, let's see what the Nandy Bear has as far as pins go. And I'll show you the key when we're done here too. Alright, looking at the plug, I definitely see uh, counter milling in chamber 1 and 2, kind of lightly. And threading in chamber 5. And as usual... Harley is not disappointing me on his fantastic pins. And uh, did that ball bearing just pop out from underneath of uh, that key pin. Oh, no, it didn't. It was actually over here in that chamber. Okay, that makes sense. And, yep, that's what their, the mods were in the chamber. Just threads and counter milling. So, counter, counter milling is probably one of my favorite mods to do to a lock chamber. So, I always respect it when somebody else does it, too. Okay, I've got a very nice spool, deep spool. I've got a serrated T-pin spool, very nice pin. Ooh, pin and pin. Okay, that was like that. And he goes in like that. Very nice pin. Holy spring pressure, Batman. Okay, a little bitty short uh, serrated. Followed by the mother of all springs. I mean, good thing I had my tweezers on that one out and to put an eye out. All right, there's our last spring. This spring is insane. I mean, that's almost like one of the springs out of a Bic lighter or something. So let's go ahead and show you these awesome pins that Harley put in here. All right, so starting with key pin number one. I've got a very nice uh, serrated with a serrated spool above it with a copper spring. I've got a single serration here in two with a really nice uh, deep spool with a serration with a T-pin underneath of it. Very cool pin. It's got a copper spring. I've got a spooled key pin with a pin and pin. The uh, pin and pin is got a spooled collar, slightly reduced diameter there at the bottom, um, and the top of it is serrated, so it's a very cool pin. It's got a steel spring. Uh, the key pin in chamber four is actually a ball bearing with a nice sharp spool and a little bitty reduced diameter serrated right above it. And uh, this spring, it was a powerful spring. Yes, is a powerful spring. I've got a serrated here in five and a serrated above it with a copper spring. That's what we have in this Nandy Bear lock that West Coast Picks sent me. 
Let's go ahead and show you guys the key. There we go. Not a bad challenge lock bedding. Uh, low with a couple highs, then a low and kind of a medium rise. Not a bad bedding for this lock. Very nice. So Harley, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Appreciate everything you do for the Locksport community. Everyone else, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, if you have one of these and it's not yours, don't pick it. Please, just don't do it. It's not worth the effort.